Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be looking at Advanced Themer and one very powerful tool called Class Converter. Class Converter is a tool that takes your styles uh, that are on the ID level of an element and moves them up to a class that it automatically creates. So if you've done a bunch of work, got really excited to build out something on the canvas, you were doing a bunch of ID styling, it looks great, but now you wanna go back and add your classes. Well, you don't have to do that because Advanced Themer's got your back and it's gonna automatically add your BIM naming convention classes and move all those styles up from the ID to the class. All right, I'm gonna try to keep this pretty short uh, because it's not a complex tool to use. It's pretty intuitive, but if you're not using it, it will save you a ton of time. So to enable it, go to Bricks, AT theme settings, global settings tab, under general, make sure you have builder tweaks turned on, which I think everybody's got builder tweaks turned on at this point. Under builder tweaks tab, go to class converter, or you can do a find replace for class converter, just like that, and make sure this is turned on. Save settings. And let's hop over into the builder and see what we're gonna do here. Okay. So when you add a new section and you right click the section, you'll see class converter in the contextual menu. But what we need to do is create something and add some stylings uh, on the ID and kind of simulate what it would actually look like if you were saw something neat uh, on a website, you wanted to try to build something similar or you had a, just a great idea off the top of your head, hey, I'm gonna make this. You're gonna get in here and you're gonna start styling and playing. And the last thing you're probably thinking about is getting your classes all nice and tidy. Well, again, AT's got your back, it's gonna help you do that. So let's build this out pretty quickly. I'm gonna do a grid here on this container. So set it to grid. And under grid template columns, one FR, one FR, one FR. That'll give us a three column grid, 30 pixel gap. And then I'm gonna add one of my cards here, a heading, basic text, and a button, just a very generic card. On the block, let's center everything up like that. And then add some padding all the way around like so, and then add a row gap of 30. Let's do 15, not quite so much gap. So that's a fairly basic card. Um, maybe we'll add some box shadow, 25 blur, five spread, and on the RGB, I'm gonna do 0.1 on the alpha channel, maybe 0.15, gives us some shadow, looks pretty nice. Save that. Uh, the heading, just so we can get some more styles, we'll make it, I don't know, a blue color. Let's see, let's go over here to some blue color, like that. Let's copy that hex code and go down to the button unlock the button because we're styling on the ID. You know that's a big no-no. You should never style on, on the ID unless you have advanced themer. <laughs> change that and then change the topography color to white like that. Nothing crazy, looks pretty good. Hit save and if you go look at the style overview, this is another advanced themer tool, you can see everything is on the ID. Um, and those are all the styles that, you know, we'd have to go and move over to a class using copy and paste or rebuilding it or however you would get them moved over there. I'm gonna call this section card because it's the kind of the parent to start off your BIM naming, that would be card. I'm gonna call this grid. Grid. And this is gonna be item. So it's gonna be our individual card, but Items fine, heading, 
maybe not basic text, maybe just text. And that's good. Now let's duplicate that three times. So we've got our cards. So let's dive into the tool. Right click at the very top. This is important on the section. I mean, you could, if you wanted to exclude the section, you could do it on the grid, but a lot of times you're gonna wanna use the section at the top and that's what I'm gonna do almost every time. So right click the section, class converter, and you'll see the base name is what is gonna be applied to every single element. My dash card, that's a little too much. All we're gonna do is card. Uh, let's say we were gonna change this from heading to card heading just to demonstrate that. Um, the class converter is picking up the name of the element. So if you change the name, class converter is gonna see that and say, hey, card heading, just like that. We changed it there. It's gonna pick up on that over here. There are these toggles here to turn it off. So if you didn't wanna do that one, or you didn't wanna do that one, you could toggle them off, but this is gonna be my standard workflow I'm gonna show you. I wouldn't ever do that. I would leave them all toggled on. You can go and add an optional category for use with the class manager if you need to. We'll probably cover class manager in another video, but you can add a category. But these two bottom uh, button sections here, copy the ID styles to the classes, we definitely want to do that. Yes, we want to move everything from the ID up to the class, of course. And then erase the ID styles. Yes, we want to clear everything out and move it up. Create classes. So what did we do? If we go look at style overview. Everything that was here is now on the card grid class. Everything that was on the uh, card ID has now been added to card item. So there are styles uh, moved up, everything's nice and tidy. This is probably the most, my most used tool. I mean, I use it all the time. I use a lot of advanced themer tools, but this one I use a lot. Uh, this is great if you have bought a third party uh, design set that maybe styled everything on the ID level and you import it and you're like, well, the design's really nice. I wish they would have used classes, but they didn't. Class converter. You just took that third-party design set and uh, maybe one of you, know, if you have employees and maybe they didn't know about classes, they made a really great design on the ID, you can standardize that into a BIM naming system. It's just that easy. It's a really great tool. Um, and if you don't have it on in your advanced themer settings, I would turn it on. All right, everybody, uh, if you have any questions, hop on over to the advanced themer Facebook group. Maxime and the rest of the professionals in there uh, know a lot about the tool and can answer any of your questions. I try my best to answer questions. Uh, and let's uh, learn how to get everything we can out of advanced themer. It's a really great addition to Bricks, and I hope uh, everybody jumps on the AT train. Thanks, everyone. Have a good day. Bye.